Hemming, that's what we're gonna do right now. Okay, now rolled hemming is of course very, very, uh, very narrow and it rolls the fabric. Um, it will have better looks on certain fabrics than others. That is another experience you're gonna come across. Okay, the first step we wanna do is we want to take out the left needle. Okay, so we're gonna snip this left needle thread and we're gonna leave it there. Okay, and the reason why we're gonna leave it there is because afterwards when we put it back to standard, we want to thread the needle, of course. So we're gonna take our small little screwdriver where is it? It ran away from me. Yeah, I think it ran away from me. Pause, I, I, just because I don't want you to... Okay. Alright, here we go. So my recommendation, little tip, hold it obviously so it doesn't fall through. Okay, you're, it, the left, it even labels it L for left. So you're going to take this and you're going to unscrew it just enough that it comes out. Do not keep unscrewing it if you don't have to. Okay, take that, put it aside. That's the first step. The second step is to go over to your length and we're going to turn this so that it's on the letter R, which stands for rolled hem. Mm. Your differential's at 1.5 providing on the fabric. Mm. Open the doors. And this part I would, I'd love for you to really focus on as well because it's a little techy. Okay? Now, you need to take, focus on here, there is an S that stands for standard an R that stands for rolled hem. Mm -hmm. You're going to take this S and move it to R, but what happens is it's not moving. Mm -hmm. The reason why it's not moving is because this piece right here. Okay? Mm. Now I'm gonna turn it so you can see it. What's happening is that this piece is being blocked by none other than the oh. knife. So that means you need to take the knife down. So to take the knife down is this dial right here. Not this one. Okay. So you're going to push, okay, and turn so that it gets out of the way, just like that. Once it's out of the way, it still won't work because this is being blocked by this piece. That this, this won't move past because of this piece. So this is the white button. You're going to push so that now, while I hold it, this will slide down. You see? Now that other piece will bring the knife back up that other knob. Okay, that's how it's done. When you put it back, down, and then so on and so forth. But do you notice that this would not work because the knife, it all comes down to it. See how the knife is in the way? So you have to take the knife down, okay? All right, put the knife back up, close the door, and now we're ready for rolled hemming. So let's try it on this kind of fabric first, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start slow. It will be slippery some fabrics, so be aware of that, okay? Just like that, nice and slow and gradual. This one I would recommend not to speed with. Okay, as you can see, I'm not cutting too much off, so there you go. Okay, this is how you ease off your fabric if you don't wanna do it all the way down, by the way. And there you have it. Oh. Now what it's really meant for is silk, satin, organza, but obviously speaking, we're not always gonna sew that kind of stuff like this. So oh, wow. this would look great on dresses and bonnets or uh, for those moments where you buy that beautiful dress from Urban Planet and then you wanna do this nice little technique on this dress. So watch how I do this, Nassim. Okay. This is dresses, this is uh, shirts, this is napkins. You got to remember, you cannot do a standard, well, it's not recommended to do a standard surge on all things. You, it won't look good. You could never see a standard surge on something like this. I mean, that's not, that's not uh, something you normally see, you know? So that's why you have to really consider different methods. Okay, get that out of the way there. See, that's all I'm doing, see? And there you have it. Huh. You see? Obviously it's backwards, but you get the point. <laughs> there you go. Can you do it this 